Okay, before anyone makes any funny comments, I know that half my head is gone, but that's just because my head doesn't enter into this video. It's just to keep an eye on the sticks, and I just wanted to get this kind of frame of what my pieces of my drum set, being mainly the ride, the hi-hat, and the snare drum. Most of the other stuff's not going to matter for this, so... Yes, I know I look like the tall man in uh, uh, the police uh, squad movies, the Naked Gun movies, but hey, that's the way it's going to be. All right, so uh, what I'd like to do today is do a little bit of an instructional video starting right at the very basics of how to hold the stick. So I'm going to try and do what I did for my feet, for my hands. So, again, I'm self-taught, and I never learned how to hold the stick uh, by any teacher or any books or anything like that. And so I just, at first, I did what just felt comfortable, you know. Uh, and the knowing a little bit about physics when I started the drums I just knew that um, there's you know what's called a fulcrum which is the center of the lever wherever the resting point is on your hand um, and I knew that that should be balanced such that when you drop the stick it bounces so if you're too far back it just goes back into the thing. If you're too far forward, it doesn't bounce. It just does that. So I used to have to sort of look. I used to play Pro Marks, and it was right around the line. There's a there's sort of a double, a thick and a thin line around the stick on the Pro Marks sticks, and that's a pretty good balance point. I think I was a little bit in front of that because uh, I was a little younger and I had smaller hands, but. Uh, Eventually, I found that, you know, as soon as I pick up the sticks, they're balanced. They're balanced so that I have good stick control and I can... I can get four or five hits out of one. So, the key, and uh, as most of you who have followed me know, you know, I've explained that one of the reasons why I drop my sticks a lot is because I... I do hold my sticks very loosely in my hands. Um, a little later, I'll demonstrate how loosely that is. The first thing I want to show is how, uh, once again, I didn't really know anything about gripping the stick, so I just did whatever felt comfortable in whatever situation I was in. So. There's basically three, I, I, I play almost exclusively match grip. If I have some fine touches, I might turn around and do a little bit of traditional grip to do some really fine go stroking, but almost exclusively uh, match grip. There's basically three ways of playing match grip. There's the French grip, where if you look at that, it's sort of in line with your arm, so you have a little bit of finger control so that your palms are kind of facing each other. And then there's the German grip, which is palm down, sort of like that. So you're using more of your wrist. I mean, you still have control with your fingers underneath, but you're using more of your wrist. So typically, if I'm playing a finesse pattern on the ride cymbal, such as... something like that that needs intricate things, I'll use more finger control, and so I will resort to using a French type of grip. Um, if I'm really hitting the ride cymbal with some power to get a nice bell sound, you know, <coughs> then I'll use the German grip because it gives you much more power, and it's a little more, it's a little tighter so that it's, Sort of a little, little bit choked off, 
but you're using your wrist. As you can see, my wrist is moving. If I'm playing French grip, it's like this. If I'm playing German grip, it's this kind of thing. So, and then the third type is what's called sort of slangily the American grip, which is kind of halfway between. So it's a 45 degree angle kind of. I don't really look at my hands that often, but I don't think I play that often that kind of way because I'm either using my fingers or I'm using my wrists or I'm using my whole arms, in which case I don't really have a grip other than that, which is completely unorthodox, but it works when you don't want to drop the stick. So let's move on to what we can do with these grips. Let's just put one stick down and let's really concentrate on one hand. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So if we take one stick and once again we've got the balance point and we put it in the first knuckle of the forefinger and then put the thumb on top of the stick like that but not like this not like that just sort of on top of the stick so we're gonna start out with a basic French grip okay so if you look at the underside of my hand it sort of goes through the first knuckles of each finger now I just use all four fingers just because you know they're there and I don't want to play like this but I really only use mainly these two fingers, the first two fingers, the, the index finger and the um, middle finger. Occasionally I'll invoke the for really fine stuff the little baby finger but that's kinda like when it's really fast and bouncy. But the main point is to get the balance and to start by just doing this. Okay? So once you get the balance point just try playing by manipulating your thumb so that it's a, a little higher than your forefinger so that you've got leverage that way you can't do it like this because there's no leverage so you gotta put it above just a little bit and just practice doing that so you know practice just sort of up and down up and down nice smooth movements if you if you look at the stick it's kind of going through a little triangle arc that's pretty consistent you know and I'm just kind of swinging this okay so now once you get used to that and you can see my wrist really isn't moving it's just my thumb and my forefinger so this is what's called finger control okay so now I'm gonna introduce my middle finger it's good for more than one thing in life 